YouTube. So it's a beautiful day out here. You know why? Because it's Wednesday. It can't be pretty on Friday. It can't be pretty on Saturday. You know, the days where normal people like to go and race. Yeah, it's got to be pretty on Wednesday. The day that it doesn't really need to be pretty on. It's not really that big of a deal. Those of you who are off of work on Wednesday, I'm sorry. It should just rain on you. That's all there is to it. It should rain. It, I, I don't care if it rains on Wednesday for the rest of our lives. As long as it doesn't rain on Friday and Saturday. And then, actually, I wouldn't mind it not raining on Sunday. <sighs> I'm tired of it. That's going to hinder things going on this weekend. And I have to reschedule crap. And can't, can't test. We, we grabbed some test hits in the other night. In between, you know, after it poured hail and rain on us, and it's a there's a chance of spitting snow Saturday of all things. What the heck? That's retarded. Ah! Tired of it. It's May. April showers bring May flowers. But we're done with this. This is supposed to be done. And it's beautiful today. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's not too hot. It's just right. It's a perfect day to do about anything outside, uh, except it's you know it's it's Wednesday, it's work day, it's it's hump day. Oh man! So yeah, I just thought I should rant for a little bit about that retardedness. And um, updates, not a whole lot. Uh, stuff is coming very soon. That's gonna be. Very interesting. I'm hoping that the weather holds off and um, the end of the, the whole month of May is going to be a blast. Uh, KOTV Motorsports, uh, we've been selling some stuff. Uh, we sold a kit to a guy in Washington State, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, if you watch this vid, shout out to, to I don't want to mess the name up. So, um, but shout out to you out there in Tacoma. That's pretty awesome. Um, our YouTube videos are getting out to people. And uh, check it out. Our on three performance uh, review of the one on my car. And um, so, yeah, I can't, I'm can't. i still extremely happy with that thing. It's, it's doing great. Um, I drove it the other night. Drove it and actually washed it. And that is why it hailed on Saturday was because I washed my car. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, that's the reason why I don't wash. Well, that's not the reason why. The reason why is because I'm lazy and, um, it's hard to get the rubber off of the back of it. And you use about 17 million rags on it whenever you get the goo gone off or goo gone on it. It just smears the rubber. It doesn't really like to just pull it straight off. Especially if you use the rag twice. You pretty much have to use a rag for each swipe. It's If, if you have any recommendations, I, I've heard that you can take um, some petroleum jelly and put a light coating on it once you get it clean. And then after you race, you can just sort of wipe it off. It just comes off. Um, which I may try that. I've heard WD-40 and Goo Gone has actually worked better for me. If you have any recommendations on getting rubber off of a quarter panel, back bumper, you know, I've almost just sort of accepted it and accepted it like a, a you know, a war, war wound type thing, uh, you know, battle scars. So, is what it is. Um, the Spoon Hauler. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. I don't know. I need a nickname for the silver truck. Uh, silver truck for the silver spoon. Um, it's getting some new shoes. Hopefully tomorrow. I cannot wait for that. Um, shout out to wifey. She got me an awesome Father's Day gift slash Christmas slash anniversary slash I'm going to be paying for it for a while. So shout out to her. She gave me an awesome... She would, She doesn't watch these videos unless she's on them. So, she's not going to even see this. Yeah. 
Um, that's that's coming. I'll get some. I'll probably take some videos of that. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. I've never had a decent set of wheels and tires or a nice truck, really. I mean, the red truck was an awesome truck, and I'm gonna miss the truck. Red truck is gone, by the way. The red, big red. She gone. It's sad. I took a video of her leaving. I'll probably post it here. And, um, but she's off to a good owner. He's going to take care of her. I'm excited to, um, to let her go, you know, on to, on to newer things. And, um, hopefully pretty much a, you know, a long-term truck. This, the silver truck's going to be here for a while. Um, because it's, and I love that truck too. It's, it's nice. Can't wait to take it on some trips in the next coming weeks. Should be fun. Um, it's going to let me to be able to, you know, the red truck was great for around town stuff and even some short term hauling. Um, but without the one, you know, upgrading some things, some ball joints and, or whatever they call the different joints on it, um, I was just a little bit leery of taking it on. And I needed to fix the rear fuel tank. I was a leery at take because I had a, a deal that I was going to be going to in Nebraska. And, man, that's a 15-hour drive one way. And so that would be like 30 to 35 hours trip of just driving. And so I was just a little bit leery of taking that truck that far that far away from home. Something happens and you're up a creek. So um, now I'm going to be a lot more, uh, I think, open to you know taking that truck and hitching to it and hauling multiple miles multiple hours away uh, so yeah rear end ordered for the silver spoon the actual silver spoon the fair lane I believe the rear ends in and uh, excited to, to see some progress on that as you get to hear my tools rattle around so this is just like a sort of update thing. I'm sure everybody will love these, you know. Everybody loves to see my pretty face, which I am, I am actually, uh, well, I have doubled the amount of views and the amount of interaction on my YouTube channel, which is awesome. So props to everybody for watching these. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I would love to get a thousand subs. I mean, it may take me about a year or whatever. I think I'm close to 200. So I would love to get some more sub subscri subscriptions. But uh, I don't have a whole lot of material here yet. It's still early spring and uh, just haven't been, you know, we've been, I've been doing a lot of work so that we can be able to go do some things later this summer. Uh, be going to the beach later at the end of the month that's going to be fun and um, we've got some races this month and we're going to have to figure some stuff out for June there's a race in July and uh, excited for that um, I know me and the, the Teslas everybody's wanting to see that rematch boy the Tesla that may be an issue for another video the Tesla has caused some major butt hurt guys I mean that the Tesla from Tesla Racing Channel, Charles, has, I mean, he's got so many people all up in their fields. And it is it is just absolutely epic. Because what he has done, let, let me let me have a, a small rabbit track here. What he has done with the Tesla is he has taken a car that makes a lot of pounds of torque. And it weighs about 45 4400 pounds i think i think is what he said with everything taken out it's all wheel drive and now it's on a drag radio so it's gonna freaking hook and book and what he has done is he's taken all of these ones who say that they're street and act like they are you know king of the hill and king of the streets and all this and the only thing they've ever done is maybe a couple of test passes in their whole life and don't really know what they're doing from a whole you know they wouldn't know what to do unless it hit him in the face and uh, he's taken them overpowered under tired under tested and made them look like fools that's exactly what's happened 
and I think it's hilarious because and I, I don't I'm not tooting my horn but my car beat the Tesla that's that it, it happened it's on I've got a video and I had the less rubbered lane other than the 500 foot burnout that was before me uh, I had the less prep lane he get he had the lane with all the rubber and um, my car didn't extremely hook but I, I mean we've tested my car we've made sure that my car can do what it can do and the in the Tesla he's not he's not he's not cocky he's not saying anything he is just saying let's race and boy people are about hurt about it it is absolutely epic I have seen thousands of posts in the last week over it he is just ruining people's hopes and dreams I mean it is absolutely hilarious he needs to instead of like I dig or I uh, I hook or whatever on the back of it. He needs to put Dream Killer on it is what he needs to do. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. This is just going to be a little quick midweek update. We should have some vids coming uh, on Thursday. Or sh Thursday. Yeah, probably Thursday. May show y'all what the truck looks like after tomorrow. And uh, then some stuff Saturday. So stay tuned for more material as we're going to go fix some plumbing leaks is what we're going to do. So, peace out, Girl Scout. Ooh. <laughs>